Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. In today's class, I'll talk about some of the important multiple choice questions from the Economics of Growth and Development paper, which is the Economics General paper for TYBA. So let's get started. In today's class, I'll talk about some of the introductory uh, concepts from chapter one. So the first question is talking about the economics of development refers to the problems of economic development of dash countries, whether it is a underdeveloped countries, that means the problems of economic development of underdeveloped countries, the problems of economic development of developed countries, the problems of economic development of Western countries or the problems of economic development of Eastern countries. So here economics of development refers to the problems of economic develop uh, economic development of underdeveloped countries and therefore option A is the correct answer to this question. I hope the question is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the next which is talking about generally economic development refers to the problems of dash countries here i am specifically looking at economic development so generally speaking economic development refers to the problems of a developed countries b underdeveloped countries c southern countries and d northern countries so here economic development in general terms particularly refers to the problems of underdeveloped economies and therefore option B underdeveloped countries is the correct answer to this question. I am here specifically generalizing the definition of economic development per se. Let us now move to the next which is talking about economic growth. So generally speaking economic growth refers to the problems of dash countries. So here I am specifically asking or generalizing the concept of economic growth. So here the underlying options are a developed nations or developed countries b underdeveloped countries c southern countries and none of the above so we have seen when it is underdeveloped countries generally speaking economic development refers to the problems of underdeveloped countries so this cannot be the answer the correct answer is generalizing or generally speaking economic growth refers to the problems of developed countries or developed nations and therefore option a is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the concept or generalization of both economic development as well as economic growth is pretty much clear let us now move to the next question which is according to certain economists so here it is according to kindleberger economic growth means dash according to kindleberger economic growth mind you here i am looking at economic growth means first option is more output second option is changes in technological arrangements third option is changes in institutional arrangements and fourth is none of the above so here according to Kindleberger, economic growth purely relates to the output or more output per se or increase in output per se so here the correct answer is more output okay so here from our options option a is the correct answer that means according to Kindleberger economic growth means more output and more output only growth means that let us look at what development means or economic development particularly means according to Kindleberger so the next question is in that, that relation the question is according to Kindleberger economic development means here I am looking at economic development so according to Kindleberger economic development means more output and what and dash so here growth was according to Kindleberger only more output but uh, but development according to him is more output and what so here the underlying options are a changes in technological arrangements only b changes in institutional arrangements only c is both changes in institutional as well as technological arrangements and d none of the above so here the correct answer is option c both technological and institutional arrangements so that means according to Kindleberger economic development means more output as well as changes in technology and institutional technological as well as institutional arrangements so i hope the concept of economic growth as well as economic development or the meaning of economic growth and development according to Kindleberger is pretty much clear let us now move to the next question which in a sense talks about economic growth and the question is framed in this fashion economic growth is a dash concept whether it is a, a qualitative concept b a quantitative concept c it is a vague concept and d none of the above so here economic growth can be quantified that means i can quantify economic growth that means growth over the period of time that means month on month or year on year basis quarter on quarter basis so therefore economic growth is a quantitative concept so option b quantitative concept is the correct answer to this particular question 
let us now move to the next question which is talking about economic development so economic development is a dash concept so here the options are a quantitative b qualitative c necessary and d none of the above so here we have seen economic growth is a quantifiable thing or quantitative concept on the contrary economic development is a qual qualitative concept so here the qualitative concept is given in option b and hence option b is the correct answer that means economic growth is quantitative whereas economic development is a qualitative concept so you will see indicators like the human development index or the physical quality of life index and things like that under economic development i hope that is pretty much clear let us now move to the next question which talks about ways to measure economic growth per se and the question is framed in this fashion which of the following is r ways to measure economic growth what can be the possible ways to measure economic growth and the underlying options are a gnp b gnp per capita c welfare and d social indicators and let us look at the question the question is choose correct option from above that means which of the following are ways to measure economic growth whether it is option a is a and b that means gnp and gnp per capita or b that means b and c which is gnp per capita and welfare c is talking about a b and c the third option that means gnp gnp per capita as well as welfare and the last option is talking about all of the above that means gnp gnp per capita welfare social indicators are all different ways in which you can measure economic growth and here the correct answer is all of the above that means both uh, uh, that means all of these that means gnp gnp per capita welfare and social indicators are in a sense talking about the measurement or ways of measuring economic growth so i hope this question is pretty much clear let us now move to the next question the most commonly used measure of economic development are or measures of economic development are what so the most commonly used measures of economic development are a population growth b urbanization c per capita consumption d all of the above so here when we look at the most commonly used measures of economic development these are all relating to the same that means per capita consumption as well as urbanization and population growth relates to the economic development of a particular area and these are certain measures which are most commonly used to look at economic development in a particular setup so therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the question is pretty much clear let us now move to the last question in this segment which is talking about the problems of underdeveloped countries are concerned with the development of dash resources the problems of underdeveloped countries are concerned with the development of dash resources and the underlying options are uh, they are concerned with the development of used resources they are concerned with the development of unused resources third is reused resources and none of the above so here if you look at an underdeveloped country the problem is of critically using or effic efficiently using the unused resources and therefore option b unused resources is the correct answer that means the problems of underdeveloped countries are concerned with the development of unused resources so i hope this question is pretty much clear i hope uh, the questions are making sense this is from chapter 1 very introductory part of meaning of economic growth and development in the next uh, lecture i'll talk about the indicators of both economic growth and development so please stay tuned for more thank you